Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. So I've got this snapper and I want to replace the, uh, in this case, gear oil out of the chain case. I bought this used, don't have a history of this. Um, it's a very old snapper mower. Um, I think it's a Comet. Yeah, it is a Comet. And uh, yeah, I bought it from a thrift store a while back. Um, I don't remember the year of this. I think maybe a 73 or something. 72 or 73. Uh, and so when I checked the uh, the oil, it was uh, or the the grease, I, it was dried, and I couldn't even really feel anything in there. Took out the little cap there, in the gear case, and uh, probed in there, and really couldn't feel anything. So I didn't have any of the grease that Snapper recommends. So I used this 8090 stuff here, and. Uh, this is a lot thinner. It will leak out of the seals. Uh, it will make your seals leak, I should say. And I just don't think it's probably the right thing for these mowers. I don't have a manual, so I'm uh, pretty sure that's not the case. I have read that Snapper recommends and has their own brand, and it's probably not available since I don't think Snap Snapper is even made anymore. Uh, but uh, they use the, the double zero or double lot grease. So we're going to go with that today. I happened to pick this up last night. Uh, I'll go into that a little bit further about where you can get the stuff at because it is expensive and hard to get. But uh, let's take this out. I'll show you how I'm going to do it. And I'll let you see the consist consistency of this versus this. So there is a plug right here. I removed the cap practically destroyed um, and yeah like I said I, I filled this with uh, gear this uh, 8090 gear oil a while back so it should be right around the, the hole because uh, I filled it till it started coming out we're going to try to take all that out using this mono jet check that out That might have been all there is. Okay, I'm going to put it in this container here. And I'll show you the consistency a little bit better. I'll, I'll pour some right out of the bottle so you can get an idea. I think we're just about there. All right. All right. So we've got it out. Let's take a look at what it looks like all right so here's what the 8090 looks like so it's almost the consistency of it's a little bit thicker than like motor oil Our double lock grease. It is fluid, but it's nothing like gear oil. I've got this let's compare it to um, lithium grease here we have some NLGI 
lithium bearing grease. So yeah, the bearing grease, much thicker. It's not fluid at all. Not fluid at all. Then we have the, uh, the double lot stuff. Much more fluid, thinner than the uh, the uh, gear or the bearing grease it is actually fluid somewhat and then we have this stuff here 80 90 see I can actually get a drip from this very fluid so uh, yeah I don't know uh, I'm sure some people have been tempted to try to make this stuff because it's very expensive. Um, if you go on Amazon, a quarter of this is like $39. Um, I found some for $17 on eBay. And then I looked again and I found some locally at a place called Tractor Supply Company for six dollars and 31 cents which is where i bought this they only had one left though so it's a pretty hot commodity um yeah for forty dollars i mean i guess people probably think they can use this 80 90 or whatever but uh it is out there if you look um if you got a tractor supply company nearby drive by or check check before you go i don't know whatever uh, but we're going to put some of this in and uh, just wanted to show you that. Just wanted to show you what this stuff looks like. And hopefully you get an idea of the consistency. So I can tell it's going to go in the chain case pretty easy. And uh, I'm going to fill it to, it to that hole that you saw till it's about level with that. Um, also over here on the differential, I'm going to probably take this plug out and drain what's so 80 90 is in this as well and i think i put it till it comes up about right here this where the level would be at uh, i'm going to do the same thing but i'll do that off camera um, i'm going to put some of the the grease i'm going to replace that 80 90 and put the grease in there uh, so yeah let's go ahead and try to fill the chain case okay so yeah the handy bottle that it comes in you can squirt this stuff in the differential hole pretty easy no problem whatsoever really but uh, the chain case it's almost impossible to get it there it's just too wide so I'm going to use a hose all right Let's see if we can do this We're there. All right, yeah, I think we're there. Let's take a closer look here. Yeah. Use a zip tie for a dipstick, but yeah, it should be, yeah, see, it's just. Yeah, we're good. It didn't take that much, really. Um, I don't know how many ounces that was, but... Alright, so let's put the plug back in place. I'll wipe that clean here. And... Put our plug back in. I think I'll dry it off. Then I'll put the plug back.
house. Okay, I guess that'll be it. I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera. Uh, yeah, if you wonder how much you got, just use, some snappers are gonna have two plugs. I only have one up here. So uh, yeah, if you need a dipstick, something like this works out pretty well. All right, thank you for watching the video again. That was just showing you double lot or double zero grease to be used in these uh, snappers, riding mowers, the transmission or differential and the, the gear case as well. Thanks again. Have a nice day. Take care.